Manuel Almazan. Ito yung Manning's Handmade Balisong. Or handcrafted. Handcrafted pala, balisong. So, yun. I have two pieces here that I'm going to unwrap. Here's one na kitang-kita yung kinis at pino na pagkagawa. Saktong-saktong sa kamay ko yung handle, oh. And another one. Yun. Kulay ginto. This is a pure brass handle. Ang kintab. Tsaka ang kinis ng pagkagawa, no? Yun, buksan natin. Ito yung uh, Warncliffe. Yun, makinis na makinis at super kintab. Ganda ng pagka-buff ng blade na ito. Yun, may file work sa likod. This one's got uh, an engraving. Claymore. Yan. Now, this is the razor. Ito yung literal na labaha. Talagang. Ito pinili ko lang sa mga designs ni Kuya Maning na nakapost sa Facebook niya. So, yan ang ating unboxing, unwrapping, kasama yung knife na nag-unbox sa kanila. So, pag-usapan natin further itong mga exquisite pieces coming from Kuya Maning of Maning's Handcrafted Balisongs. Like I've said, I was blown away with the quality of this one. So far sa mga na-receive ko ng mga balisong coming from Batangas, I think this one is top-notch. Well, I mean, may mga parating pa ako na mga balisong coming from other makers. May dalawa pa dun na sikat na mga makers na hindi ko pa natatanggap yung gawa nila. But so far... This one is the best when it comes to the quality, especially if you compare it with the price. <clears throat> Importante din po yun. So this one is the Warncliffe, which is patterned to the sex dagger of the Vikings. Actually, I picked up a design from the Facebook, uh, from the pictures uh, Facebook page ni Manning. And uh, I picked one that is similar to this, but I made a little uh, adjustment sa dito sa slant ng uh, tip niya, no? This is an excellent work. <clears throat> I wanted it to have a hardwood uh, handle. So, ang nilagay po ni Kuya Maning ay uh, balayong. Ugat daw ito ng balayong na matigas. So, brass, bolsters. Bolsters niya pala ay sa pivot lang. Dito lang sa taas. Wala dito sa dulo. Ito yung latch. So, sa kabila, meron siyang fireworks and mga baon na bato. I would have wanted it to be plain lang sana, but uh, sabi ni Kuya Maning, meron na eh. So, um, I have no problem with that. Maganda naman eh. Pati dito sa tang area, meron siyang fireworks. Galing, no? Mga extra touch ito ba? Pero it adds character to the to the knife itself. I like straight-edged knives. Yes. When I was younger, I also carry yung box cutter. And you know, this one looks like a box cutter. In fact, I have several worn clips in my collection. This one, itong pinang-unbox natin. This one is the Pinkerton Fire Ant from Kaiser. It's a Chinese brand but uh, a, a company that produces really excellent knives with uh, great materials. S35VN with titanium handle scales. <clears throat> Here's another uh, popular Warncliffe. This is made by Hinderer Knives. Rick Hinderer Knives. Uh, from USA pricey yeah. hayop na ito kung balisong lang pinamimili ko na ito ilang balisong ang maipapagawa ko sa presyo na ito yan Warncliffe straight edge na blades 
double pins. Yan. It's one of the great things about this. Kasi nga ito, straight ito eh. Hahampas ito sa casing. Tingnan natin yung ano, centering niya pala. It's a little off center, a little bit. Hindi naman ako masyadong strict to dyan. Especially knowing that this is handmade. So, mahirap yung perfect. As long as hindi siya tamatama sa scales, wala tayong problem. Sa case, wala tayong problema dyan. Dito na side. This one is, ah, uh, mas okay yung centering dito. Mas gitna. So, dito sa latch natin, there's a certain angle na pag finold mo siya, tatama yung tip ng blade. Ito. So, you have to open this fully or maybe do it this way para hindi tumama yung tip niya. Kasi sometimes masabit. Pag nakaganito, alanganin. Yun. Hindi siya mag-close. Matama siya. Yeah. Alignment is okay. It's, one, it's ano, alignment is alright. Manipis lang yung brass casing niya. That's why medyo magaan nito. 5 ounce. Magaan siya. Compared dun sa kagaya nung kay Ona na 7 point something. Siguro, what contributes to the lightness is that uh, the absence of uh, bolster dito na part. Now, let's uh, take a look at this razor. Labaha. Ito talagang literal na labaha. I'm thinking of sharpening this one really good so that ito na ang gagamitin ko pang shave. This one's got a full brass handle scales. Wala nang bolster ito kasi purong ano eh, tanso. Uh, brass casing din and latch. Yan. Flickable na itong ano, labaha natin. Still with a double pin. So, hindi ito tatama sa casing. A little off center. Mm -hmm. A little bit off center here. Siguro yan lang makikita ko mapupuna ako dito na ano. Konting, konting diferensya. This is okay. 6.3 magaan pa rin kumpara dun sa mga nauna kong balisong lalo na yung sa abyss ng bingat nun wala akong masabing negative dito ang galing galing mo talaga kuya maning oh maybe let's try the sharpness yun tara kasi full I mean hollow grind din ito eh so far, the sharpest among the balisongs from Batangas. Ay. There, alas. There. So, yun, ang labaha. I like labaha because... It brings back memories of my childhood when my father uh, he used to let me strop his ano, labaha. In fact, I have my own uh, uh, labaha style folder. This one's from Top Knives USA. This is a friction folder. So there you go. Amazing. I'm so happy today that I was able to get these two pieces na nanggaling kay Kuya Maning. Shout out again sa mga kapwa nating Pinoy knife vloggers. Continue lang tayo kahit medyo mahina yung <laughs> cha mga channels natin. Banat lang ng banat. Uh, tayo naman na gumagawa ng mga video para tayong mga buwang dito pero hindi naman natin purpose na pagkakitaan ito it's just that uh, we just wanna share um, some of the stuff that we have sa mga fellow knife enthusiasts natin kaya yun, upload lang ng upload so hanggang sa muli, paalam mga kaibigan <music>